If you're new to this channel, my name is Matt Shannon and I'm a full-time photographer in beautiful British Columbia. From soaring mountains to hidden waterfalls and elusive wildlife to stunning sunsets, I'm excited to film each step of the way. Whether you're here to learn, be inspired, or simply enjoy some stunning visuals, you've come to the right place. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. down along the beach and it's a perfect spot for eagles to perch up in these trees. Some of them you can get so close I just walked out right there and right up in the trees here was an eagle. Set up my camera as fast as I can because sometimes I feel like uh, the glass that's in front of the lens creates a sort of shimmer effect, reflection, I don't know. It's like they look down at it and they're like, you know what, I'm not gonna be bothered today. And then they take off and they fly to another location. So I find instead of uh, chatting with you and setting up other cameras, I just get right to, right to work setting this up and filming as much as I can. Uh, just in case they decide to take off. Other times, they couldn't really care less, I guess, so. Might depend on the eagle, depend on the bird. I'm gonna go down this beach further because the sun's coming up and obviously you can see that it's up this way, up the beach. So I want the uh, blue sky in the lighting direction in which I'm facing to be pointed this way, so. I'm gonna go that way and then see what I see and then as more eagles fly up into the trees and I can see more from a further distance away from the uh, shoreline, I'll, I'll move down uh, this way, basically uh, away, from, away from the sun. Now the population of eagles has grown over the years and to find them I find just going to woods that are close to the ocean, uh, like a park or something that has trails, and that's where you can easily find them because they're often looking for a food source, which is fish, and uh, the treetops are a great place to perch and either interact with other eagles or catch fish. Now while the eagles are just sitting there, you can shoot fairly slow, like one eight hundredth of a second, and get nice sharp images. And when they take off and they're flying, I think around 16th hundredth of a second. This may vary depending on how close you are to the subject and if you are moving as well. Now these are the sounds you're going to be wanting to hear if you're out walking around is these calls that the eagle makes. There were close to 20 eagles in this area and they were all chatting with one another and out hunting and chasing one another. It was awesome to see. Now patience is everything because when the eagle takes off, it can be at any time and they could sit there for 30 minutes to an hour before they even move. This is all captured in real time and now I'm gonna slow it down to 120 frames per second. All right, just to show you how crazy it is and how many of the eagles there are, there's two in this tree. All right, and then I'll move the long lens over here. Wrong tree. All right, back up. Okay, and then there's three more here. I actually think there's four. There's one in between the two on the right-hand side, but let's just say there's three there. And then we'll move all the way over to this tree. Up, up, there we go. There's another one. And again, this is just what I can see from where I'm positioned. There's way more trees, there's way more eagles. And here's another one. And I think there's one to my left too. 
Now all of these eagles are bald eagles. Some of them are younger than others and so they don't have the bald head yet because uh, they're adolescent eagles. Here is a page out of a book that I'm reading on eagles that show all the different stages of an eagle's life. Now, while I was out photographing and filming eagles and eagles nest, I walked into a bookstore and I found this book on eagles. To better prepare myself and to share with you what I'm photographing, let's dive into a few of these pages. One is uh, there are four main types of eagles. Pretty cool. There's the fish booted, and that's with the feathers on their feet snake and giant forest eagle and uh, what are we actually photographing and filming here in Canada well it's going to be either the bald eagle or the golden eagle it's also cool to know that the bones are just half the weight of its feathers the bald eagle's foot has four grasping toes three forward and one back all of those bumps and scales are there to grasp on slippery fish Eagle's eyes face forward like human eyes. This gives them binoculars, three-dimensional vision, which enables them to judge distance and speed. Eagle's vision is so acute that experts believe that they can see a rabbit from a distance of two miles. That's almost eight times sharper than a person's 20-20 vision. That is just nuts. There's a ton of information in here, even how they interact with one another and uh, one that I was quite cool to read about, which is uh, their nests and the different shapes, which is what I'm seeing as I'm traveling around to these different locations and seeing their nests uh, in different trees. Very cool. So if you're gonna go out like me and photograph and film uh, eagles, I recommend picking up a book and reading a little bit more about their habits and the times of the year to go ahead and photograph them. Sometimes the spring where you can get the baby chicks uh, is epic and awesome, whereas the salmon run in the fall, that's where I can get really close-up shots and see them hunting and tearing apart fish, and uh, it's a great spectacle of nature and wildlife. It's another day, it's another time to find an eagle's nest. Oh hey, Here's more. This is another feather. There's feathers all the way along. Here's, here's another one down here. Interesting. So someone had some feathers ripped out. Kind of looks like they got spread all on this trail. I mean, it could have been someone who uh, sprinkled them along here. But there's an eagle's nest up this way, and I have no idea if there's young in it or maybe the young have already fledged i'm not really sure so we're gonna go check it out it's the first time i've been to this spot in quite a few years and fingers crossed we'll get some fun action maybe see some eggs i don't know we'll see look how giant that arbutus tree is Ooh, that's huge i think I think that's the nest right there. Right at the very top of that tree. So I need to get up this, up this cliff. Looks like there's some paths here. So I can get a better view looking down into the nest. Yeah, I think that's the eagle's nest right there. And there's two eagles. They were just calling. And they're not calling anymore, so. It looks like I'm at the highest point. I wanted to be looking down <laughs> into the nest. Check it out, there's feathers, fluffy white feathers, bigger feathers, all right around here. Coming from this bigger tree all the way up to the top. But 
I am walking away. Here's more feathers. That's my wife right now. She says there's, this is another eagle's nest that I'm looking at. Here, I'm gonna answer. I found an eagle's nest. I guess it's not the right one. Look. Poop. I have to check to see if I have any ticks after this. Whoa. It's overgrown. That's for sure. So the spot where I thought it was going to be, or it used to be, is right on top of that tree. And this year, doesn't look like the nest made it. Maybe it was two years, three years ago. I'm not sure, but right there is where all the action was. Look at that, what a perfect view. Get the water behind. So where I just ran, which is way down there for a kilometer, that is where the new nest is. And they have young up in there and I cannot see any of the action. So sometimes you win and you lose. I guess I'm gonna be just viewing eagle's nests from the ground area pointing up. Yeah. Maybe it'll be another week or so before I can go ahead and post this one. Anyways, it's a beautiful day. Can't complain too much. Seen a lot of uh, eagle action already, just not the nest and the young, so. Whoa. There goes one. I don't know if it's a turkey vulture or not. He's gone, he was a turkey vulture. Yeah, so eagle and a turkey, a turkey vulture just hanging out. food with him. Maybe he had a fish the whole time in the tree there. Good morning everyone. It is just before sunrise. The sun's about to peak over this mountain ridge here and there's a whole group of seabirds out there i heard an eagle up in the trees back here i haven't seen them yet and there's a couple of uh, loons out on the water tide is not up super high i checked the check the tide charts and the tide is going out so what i might do is set up my bag down here, get out my camera, and see if I can capture a loon out of the water. And uh, maybe as soon as the sun breaks over, uh, we'll get a lot more uh, bird activity. It's quiet, it's beautiful. So I left the beach, which is out that way, and it decided to come into this old growth forest. We got some fairly good sized trees here. And I heard a lot of squawking that was coming from here, so maybe I'll get some sap suckers, woodpeckers, 
Maybe a barred owl, because there is a creek down the way. Northern flicker. I don't know. Not really a, a birder. Just a guy who loves taking some photos. And uh, the woods is beautiful right now with that sunlight coming through. So I'm just going to follow this for a little bit. Maybe if I hear some eagles um, kind of talking with one another and flying around, I'll take a trip back down to the beach. But for now, I'm really enjoying this wood, woodlands walk. Hi everyone, round, I don't know, 18 or so. It is true, I've been out many, many times trying to get uh, great footage as well as cool, captivating images and it has been a challenge. But on this day when I went out on the motorbike, so many other things have happened, a lot of other challenges, and I can't really compact it into like one video. So stay tuned for another episode where it's gonna be a bit different uh, how I approach things and I'm excited to go ahead and share that. Another cool video that I wanna put out possibly next week is long exposure photography. Uh, I went to a waterfall um, here on Vancouver Island and it's my favorite time to photograph waterfalls because the water level has, has come down but all the greenery is out so you got the ferns that are coming out there's some uh, flowers wildflowers and uh, yeah so stay tuned for that if you're interested in long exposures in landscape photography thank you so much for watching if you can give me that thumbs up uh, it would really help out the channel and it also pushes this to other people who might be interested in watching and if you haven't subscribed maybe think about subscribing I'd love to see you on the next episode have a fantastic day and we'll see you soon